All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick beginner walkthrough of Nooks. Nooks is a cold calling slash dialing platform that you can use to help generate more sales pipeline by cold calling and or warm calling using their phone platform. So I'm just gonna jump straight in. A little bit of my credentials, just so you know that I'm not a complete stranger. My name is Matt Lucero. I do cold outreach for a living. Most of what I do is cold email, but we're also jumping into a lot of cold calling. And so we are trying platforms like Nooks. And so hopefully this will be useful if you're considering trying their platform or you're shopping around for dialers. So jump straight in. This is Nook's main platform here. Funny enough, what their rep told me is they started off just as a sales floor tool, meaning that they didn't do the dialing. It was just like a co-working space. So their first feature here is their kind of like sales floor where you can collaborate with other people that are calling. So what this is kind of is at a very high level is it's kind of like a Zoom or a Google Meet, except you can listen into other people calling. So I'm just going to jump into the co-working space here. You're going to see it's going to load here for a second. I'm not going to be able to show my camera because my camera is being used used on the recording here. So I'm just going to press join. If I had my camera enabled, you would be able to see me here. You can invite any of your teammates so you can dial between each other. This is useful if you are doing cold calling and you don't want to get bored out of your mind doing this every single day without anyone next to you. And this is also useful for sales leaders if you want to coach your guys while they're in the room. So you can see I'm here. Pretend that there's other people here. You could talk and listen to them. They have all kinds of emojis. So if I want to give a thumbs up, if someone's doing good, they have all kinds of animations and really cool stuff here. Here. And then you can also make a new room. So if you want to step away from everyone else and do kind of dials by yourself and not have anyone talk so that it distracts you, you can jump into a new room. So again, very high level. It's kind of like a uh, place where you and your sales reps can hang out. That way they can have a little bit more fun while they're doing it and be coached. So this is a very cool feature. I'm going to leave this room here. So moving on the next thing, and this is kind of like the core feature of the platform is their dialer. So this is where you're going to be doing all your dialing. Now, me personally, I run a outreach agency or a cold outreach agency. And so for the most part, we're going to be uploading our own custom CSV lists into the platform. So whenever I do this, apparently I miss out on a lot of the different functionality. Now, I believe they have integrations with tools like Apollo, tools like HubSpot, tools like Outreach. And again, you can connect any one of these tools and dial straight out of there and have the data two way sync. In my case, I'm just uploading a list into the platform. So what it does here is if I upload a list, which I did in this case, you can see I have six different contacts I uploaded here. If I want to have different lists, I could upload more lists and have them kind of side by side. And over here, this is kind of your main dialing floor. So in the top left here, you can buy and select phone numbers. So if I want to grab a new phone number or grab multiple phone numbers, which is recommended, so you don't get that spam likely thing popping up by rotating out your numbers, you can do that over here in the top left. I believe they support like all the major countries and stuff. And so you can purchase a phone number here. The next thing here is the dialing mode. And so this is what Nooks is really known for is the ability to parallel dial people. And a lot of other platforms do this, but basically you can either sequentially dial people so I can go per person by person by person, ring, ring, ring. If they don't pick up, go to the next. Or what parallel dialing will do is it will parallel dial multiple people at once. So let's say that we have six people on this list. If I set this parallel dial to two and I press start calling, it's going to dial the first person and the second person. And the reason why this is useful is if you're not getting a ton of pickups, you can dial multiple people at once and get routed to more people more often. So if you're doing cold calling, you're trying to get through a bunch of people, this allows you to make dials faster. Now the downside is what's called bridge time. So what ends up happening is that let's say you're dialing, I'll say five people in this case, you have person one, two, three, four, and five. And let's say person number two picks up. So what Nooks will do is it'll hang up on all the other people. So that way, if they pick up, hopefully you hang up before that happens. And then there is a slight delay between whenever they pick up and whenever you're connected to it. That's their AI trying to scan to see, you know, if the person actually picked up. Apparently Nooks is known for having a really small bridge time, which is that delay between getting connected to that person. And so what parallel dialing effectively is dialing multiple people at once. What Nooks does, they help kind of like shrink in that bridge time so that you can respond to people as quickly as possible and not have that awkward pause. So anyways, that's what parallel dialing is. Now you can see they have different recommendations based off of what your pickup rate is, because the reality is, is if you're getting a lot of people picking up, then you don't want to parallel dial people because then you're going to hang up on people that would have picked up. So hopefully that makes sense. So this is pretty straightforward. This feature here, pickup likelihood, basically Nooks has a bunch of data from all the people calling on their platform and they're able to tell which people tend to pick up more often because they have data on that because chances are someone else on Nook's platform has already dialed the person you're trying to reach out to because I think they have like hundreds of thousands, maybe millions or tens of millions of dials logged on their platform. And so they're able to tell which phone numbers pick up more or less based off of past history. You can also set up a custom voicemail that you can drop if people don't pick up. You can set up callbacks. This is really useful. So if someone tries to call you back on one of the phone numbers, you can pick back up from your own cell phone. And then there's all kinds of other settings. So if I were to press start calling, which 
I'm going to do really quick here and I'm going to hang up. It'll start dialing multiple people here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to press start calling. And so you can see it's dialing a couple people here. Now I'm going to pause calling because I don't want anyone to be picking up here because I'm not in a position to do some cold calling right now. So I'm going to cancel these calls. So you can see here it started to dial multiple of the people. One person's number like immediately got canceled. So it moved on to the next person. And if someone were to pick up, what would happen is their card would pop out. So you'd get a card that would pop up like this. It would show you their LinkedIn profile. It'd show you any notes and it would basically pop up with this screen. That way you're ready and able to answer someone with a bunch of research in front of you. So it shows you their LinkedIn, all their different notes you might have had, battle cards, which I'm going to get to here in a second, and all kinds of other details, which is really useful. Now, let's say this person did pick up, and I'm not going to want to click through this anymore, but let's say this person did pick up. It'll give you an option here to log whether or not it was a good call, a bad call, or anything like that. So very cool feature here. Lots of different options to work with. I'm going to move over here into reporting. So after you made some dials, you're going to be able to see all your stats here. Now, we've been trialing the platform for a couple of weeks. You can see our numbers are pretty good. The wonderful rep over at Nooks, I think told us that our first day performance was the best that they ever saw. That was mainly because we're doing a lot of warm calling from email outreach campaigns. So we're like mixing cold and warm calling for one of our customers. But in any case, you can see we started with some warm calling. Then we tried a lot of cold calling. We made a thousand dials, got 18 meetings. You can see the connect rate, how many conversations and all these nice stats here. My face is blocking some of this, but you can see the stats by the different reps, which is awesome. And then there's lots of different other stats I could show here. Again, I'm not going to scroll through this for the sake of time. Just know Know that there's lots of different ways that you can measure stats. Moving on here to the call library, this is where you can see all the recordings of the calls are all transcribed. What's really cool too about Nooks is it shows you different ways that you can kind of critique the different conversations and what people did better or wrong. So all the recordings will be here. It'll show you all the leads information. It will tag the different conversations with all the things that happened during that call. And then you can watch the transcriptions and listen to the calls after they're done. Another cool feature about Nooks is their cold call training. So this is useful if you have sales reps and you want to train them up on robots. So you can make your own cold call bot to make it, you know, either as easy or as hard as you want. That way you or your sales reps can practice their skills. So if I press call here, then Jane Smith, the fake person's going to pick up here. So I'm going to press call. Hey, hello, this hello, is Jane hello. speaking. Who's this? Hey, Jane, this is Matt. I'm calling from Nevo. How are you? Not interested. Take me off your list. All right, we're going to hang up on Jane. I just showed you a quick demo. I didn't respond to Jane or do any effort. Actually, I don't even have my headphones plugged in, so I didn't really see what she said. I'm going to log this call here, but this is what she said. You guys probably heard it. I didn't. Anyways, so you can practice with a bot. So this is useful if you want to practice all kinds of different objections. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about before I talk about pricing and all the different things about the platform is battle cards. So what a battle card is, is when someone gives you a certain objection, the AI can detect what's going on in the conversation and pop up with the thing to help you handle the objection. So if I put new battle card here, I can press next. And then if someone has an objection, I can, you know, have it say like, hey, if someone's not interested, then it pops up with stuff to say if someone's not interested. So lots of different stuff here. Now, last thing I want to cover here is pricing. And I think their pricing is subject to change. They don't advertise on their website. But ballpark figure from what I talked to from the reps, it seems like that their average price point is about $300 per month. It looks like they have some cheaper options or like $200 and some little bit more expensive stuff with add ons. And I think they have a three seat minimum. So what I would say for anyone who's looking in this tool, is number one, main things that I would consider are if you are a very small sales team and you have like one rep or less, Nooks is probably not going to be a fit. I don't even think they'll take a call with someone who has less than three reps or three licenses that they're intending on purchasing. And I believe all of their pricing is annual commitment. So if you're considering buying the tool and you don't have the willingness to want to pay for a year, or I think they can maybe do half a year up front, then I'd probably recommend that you don't take the call. Otherwise, I think it's a good dialer option. Now I'm going to be covering more different dialers on this channel as with time because all I talk about on my YouTube channel here is all about cold outreach. So that wraps up this video. If you like this video, drop a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you want to check out other videos on cold outreach, check the other videos. And last thing, if you run a business and you are looking for help with cold outreach, you can apply to work with me at our agency below. We help businesses send tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of cold outreach messages between email and now calling. So if you want help with that, check the first link. Appreciate you and take care.